They told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. Let's get over there. Now be quick about it. The splice
this little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on him.
emergency access. Welcome to the Circus of Values!
the daft bastard set up shop in the surgery wing. You want to find them? Just follow the blood. Adam presents new problems for the profession. As your tools improve, so do your standards. There was a time I was happy enough to take off a wart or two or turn a real circus thing into something you can show in the daylight, but that was then. When we took what we got, but with Adam, the flesh becomes clay. What excuse do we have not to sculpt and sculpt and sculpt until the job is done? On the surface, the parasite expects the doctor to heal them for free, the farmer to feed them out of charity. How little they differ from the pervert who prowls the streets looking for a victim he can ravish for his grotesque amusement.
night wanders the halls. We rebuild our city and then doubt us and the fly spoil our home. One thousand atoms for the man or woman who pins its wheel. Rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you a thank. <laughs> 